Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to you all with another video. I'm going to read my prayer book, Walk in Faith. I'm going to read a Bible verse and then I'm going to read a prayer. For thus saith the Lord, ye shall not see wind, neither shall ye see rain. Yet that valley shall be filled with water that ye may drink both ye and your cattle and your and your beast. This from the um book of two king or uh, the second book of Kings verse or uh, chapter three verse seventeen. Here's the prayer. God always provides. It can be frustrating that we don't see his machinations at work which leads to puzzling times as we think about a sign or feeling we received on an outcome that doesn't seem to help us. But we know he always provides. Okay, I'm going to read an article. Okay, give me a second. It's from investomedia.com and it's how to reach financial freedom 12 habits to get you there set yourself on the path to financial freedom with these 12 habits financial freedom having enough savings investments and cash on hand to, avo to afford the lifestyle you want for yourself and for your family is an important goal for many people it also means growing a nest egg that will allow you to retire or pursue any career you want without being driven by the need to earn a certain amount each year. Unfortunately, too many people fall far short of financial freedom, even without occasional financial emergencies. Escalating debt due to overspending is a con constant burden that keeps them from reaching their goals. When a major crisis such as a hurricane, an earthquake, or a pandemic completely dis disrupts all plans, additional holes and safety nests are revealed. Trouble happens to nearly everyone, but these 12 habits can put you on the right path. We before I get into the habits, I'm going to read, you know what, I'm going to read the key takeaways at the end. I think that that's more important to read at the end. But being financially independent, being financially independent means having significant income, savings, or investments to live comfortably for life and meet all of one's obligations without relying on a paycheck. That is the ultimate goal of a long-term and financial plan. Number one, set life goals. What is financial freedom to you? Everyone has a general desire for it, but that's too vague a goal. You need to get specific about amounts and deadlines. The more specific your goals, the higher the likelihood of achieving them. Write down these three objectives. Number one, what your lifestyle requires. Number two, how much you should have in your bank account to make that possible. Number three, what age is the deadline to save that amount. Next, count backward from your deadline age to your current age and establish financial mileposts at regular intervals between the two dates. Write all amounts and deadlines down carefully and put the goal sheet at the front of your financial binder. Number two, make a monthly budget. Making a monthly household budget and sticking to it is the best way to guarantee that all bills are paid and savings are on track. It's also a regular routine that reinforces your goals and boosters 
resolve against the temptation to S P L U R G E. Number three, pay off your credit cards in full. Credit cards and other high interest consumer loans are toxic to wealth to wealth building. Make it a point to pay off the full balance each month. Student loans, mortgages, and similar similar loans typically have much lower interest rate. Paying them off is not an emergency. However, paying these lower interest loans on time is still important, and on-time payments will build a good credit rating. Number four, create automatic savings. Pay yourself first. Enroll in your employer's retirement plan and make full use of any matching contribution benefit, which is excessively free money. It's also wise to have an automatic withdrawal into an emergency fund, which can be tapped for unexpected expenses, as well as an automatic contribution to a broker account or some similar. Ideally, the money for the emergency fund and a retirement fund should be pulled out of your account the same day you receive your paycheck so it never even touches your hands. Keep in mind that the recommended amount to save in an emergency fund depends on your individual circumstances. Also, tax-advantaged re retirement accounts come with rules that make it difficult to get your hands on your cash should you suddenly need it. So that account should not be your only emergency fund. Number five, start investing now. Bad stock, stock markets, known as bear markets, can make people question the, the wisdom of investing. But historically, there has been no better way to grow your money. The, the magic of compound interest alone will grow your money expendedly, spiritually. But you do need a lot of time to achieve meaningful wealth. However, remember that for everyone except professional investors, it would be a mistake to attempt the kind of stock picking made famous by billionaires like Warren Buffett. Excuse me. Instead, open an online broker account that makes it easy for you to learn how to invest, create a manageable portfolio, and make weekly or monthly contributions to it automatically. We've ranked the best online brokers for beginners to help you get started. Fast Fact Achieving financial freedom can be very difficult in the face of growing debt cash emergencies, medical issues, and overspending. But with discipline and careful planning, it is possible. That is the ultimate goal. Number six, watch your credit score. Your credit score is a very important number that determines the interest rate you are offered when buying a new car or refinancing a home. It it also impacts the amount you pay for a range a range of other accessories from car insurance to life insurance premiums. The reason credit scores have so much weight is that someone with reckless financial habits is considered likely to be reckless in other areas of life, such as not looking after their health or even driving and drinking. This is why it's important to get a credit report at regular intervals, intervals to make sure that there are no er erroneous black marks ruining your credit, ruining your good name. It may also be worth looking into a reputable credit monitor, monitoring service to protect your information. Number seven, negotiate for goods and services. Many Americans are hesitant to negotiate for goods and services because they're afraid that it makes them seem cheap. Conquer this fear and you could save thousands each year. 
Small businesses in particular tend to be open to negotiation. So buying in bulk or positioning yourself as a repeat consumer can open the door to good discounts. Number eight, stay educated on financial issues. Review relevant changes in tax law to ensure that all adjustments and documents are maximized each year. Keep up with your financial news and developments in the stock market and do not hesitate to adjust your investment portfolio accordingly. Knowledge is also the best defense against fraudsters who prey on un unsophisticated investors to turn a quick buck. Number nine, maintain your property. Taking good care of property makes everything from cars and lawnmowers to shoes and clothes last longer. The cost of maintenance is a fraction of the cost of replacement. So it's, a, it's an investment not to be missed. Tip. Learn to know the difference between the things you want and the things you need. Number 10, live below your means. Mastering a frugal lifestyle means developing a mindset focused on living a good life with less. And it's easier than you think. In fact, before rising to influence, many wealthy individuals develop the habit the habit of living below their means. This isn't a challenge to adapt a minimalist lifestyle. It simply means learning to distinguish between the things you need and the things you want, and then making small adjustments that drive big gains for your financial health. Number 11, get a financial advisor. Once you have gotten to a point where you have amassed a decent amount of wealth, either liquid assets, cash, or anything easily converted to cash, or fixed assets, property, or anything not easily converted to cash. Get a financial advisor to help you stay on the right path. And the last and final one, number 12, take care of your health. The principle of proper maintenance also applies to your body. And taking excellent care of your physical health has a significant positive impact on your financial health as well. Investing in good health is not difficult. It means making regular visits to doctors and dentists and following health advice about any problems you encounter. Many medical issues can be helped or even prevented with basic lifestyle changes such as more exercise and a healthier diet. Poor health maintenance, on the other hand, has both immediate and long-term negative consequences on your financial goals. Some companies have limited sick days, which means a loss of income once paid days are used up. Obesity and other dietary illnesses make insurance premiums skyrocket, and poor health may force early retirement with low monthly with lower monthly income for the rest of your life. What is financial freedom? Hold on. Okay, all right, I got a little more to read and then I'll be done. What is financial freedom? Everyone defines financial freedom in terms of their own goals. For most, for most people, it means having the financial cushion savings, investments, and cash to afford a certain lifestyle, plus a nest egg for retirement or the freedom to pursue any career without the need to earn a certain salary. What is the 50-30-20 budget rule? The 50-30-20 budget rule, popularized by Senator Elizabeth Warren is a guideline to achieve financial stability by dividing after-tax income into three categories of spending, 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings and paying down debt. We have built an easy-to-follow budgeting calculator to help you 
categorize and control your spending and saving, which is the essential first step toward financial freedom. Will, will a bad credit score make my car insurance higher? Although some states, including California, Hawaii, Washington, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, and Michigan, limit or prohibit the use of credit scores to determine any or auto insurance rates. Many companies do use a credit-based scoring system to decide whether to insure you and how much you will pay. The bottom line, these 12 steps won't solve all your money problems, but they will help you develop the good habits that you that get you on the path to financial freedom. Simply making a plan with specific target amounts and dates reinforces your resolve to reach to reach your goal and guards you against the temptation to overspend. Once you start to make real progress, relief from the constant pressure of escalating debt and the promise of a nest egg for retirement kick is in as powerful motivators and financial freedom is in your sights. Okay, I think that's all. Oh, and I got to read another thing. Okay, and it's at the beginning of this article. And it's takeaways. Key takeaways. Set life goals big and small. Financial and lifestyle and create a blueprint for achieving those goals. Make a budget to cover all your financial needs and stick to it. Pay off credit cards in full. Carry as little debt as possible and keep an eye on your credit score. Create automatic savings by setting up an emergency fund and contributing to your employer's retirement plan. Take care of your belongings. Maintenance is cheaper than replacement. But most importantly, take care of your health. Woo, okay, and that's the end of that article. I will be putting a link to this article in my description box below. So if any of you want to read this article, then click on the link and it'll take you right to the website and right to this article. But until then, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Thanks for watching and you all have a good evening. Peace.